I uh, hope you're very well indeed. Magic my back in as well. I hope you're very well indeed. Now today we're doing vlog and vlog. Another amazing magician of cake today. I've changed my background a little bit today. I'll be a bit quite slow as well. I hope you can read the subtitles as well. So uh, let's vlog and vlog an amazing new magician again today. This is of course the great Chris Angel, one of the world's greatest magicians. Still performing today, okay, along with all the best magicians in the world, okay. Chris Angel, okay. American magician, okay. Started thing back in the 1990s, okay. And 2000s, back in 2003, started as a professional magician, okay. And went on to do some big American TV shows, particularly in the 2000s and also 2010s before the pandemic obviously struck a year ago I'd say. But let's vlog a vlog, <clears throat> some bits and pieces I found on YouTube, okay, and that kind of thing, on videotape of the great young magician, the good looking magician, okay, Chris Angel. Here we're gonna go. So say, what does it talk about love Chris Angel? Chris Angel's a great magician, he's about 53, 54 years old, a bit older than me actually. Born in 967, okay. Good looking guy, of course, he's got the old, uh, kind of eye, eye, looks a bit of a rock star, doesn't he, basically. Got the old eye line, of course, doesn't he? He's got the old long hair kind of thing going on there, and that kind of stuff. He's also the rock star look, the leather kind of stuff, the rock star, the old uh, medallions, that kind of stuff, and the crosses, that kind of stuff. He's a bit like a, a, a bit like a character from a kind of, um, you know, like 1990s grunge band, isn't he, basically? Meets magic, runs, meets magic kind of thing, isn't he? You know what I mean? That kind of magician, isn't he, Chris? Angel, of course, and of course, to say it kind of Guns and Roses guys, isn't it? Guns and Roses do match it, is what I would say about Chris Angel. He's a great magician as well. Also, very influenced by the magician Doug Henning from the 1970s, hippie magician. Okay, of course, we had the hippie magician uh, Doug Henning in the 70s, of course, hippie magic with the long hair and the, and the beard, moustache kind of stuff. The David Copperfield, of course, in the 80s and 90s, with kind of romantic illusion, and now we've got the kind of freak star. Freaky kind of magic of Chris Angel. Ma Chris Angel's already freaks the guy, isn't he? His magic is freaky, okay? There's free kind of magic, okay? Street magic as well, stage magic. There's all kinds of stuff, isn't he? A lot of freaky magic, okay? Freaks your mind like that kind of stuff. And the show's called Freak Mind Freak, isn't it, of course? The TV show had back in the 2000s. And also his show Mind Freak, of course. And I think it's called Believe. Chris Angel Believe, isn't it, as well as the show that's on in Las Vegas as well. Performing at hotels like that. I think Planet Hollywood Hotel also performing MGM Grand with a massive show. I think this show is called MGM, MGM, MGM Grand. It's so massive. Okay, there's about six delusions in it. It's huge. A big a multi million dollar kind of stage show. A bit like the stage, stage show that Sifu and Moy had back in the 2000s, of course, with those massive illusions. Okay, but the Chris Angel show is a fantastic show. And I want to talk a bit about some of the bits I've sourced a videotape of some highlights of a show Chris Angel was doing some years ago, 10 odd years ago, when he went to Tokyo. Chris Angel, of course, was on the streets of Tokyo doing some amazing magic, all right? And I managed to source a bit here of him doing an amazing levitation, quite a mind freak a levitation. I say, this stuff is kind of freaky kind of magic, okay? He's on the streets, okay? People right around him, okay? Right around him, Japanese people right around him. And he gets a girl, okay? And he floats the girl, okay? I think on her back, she's lying on her back, she floats up in the air in the middle of the street, okay? People right around her, 360 degrees. It's an amazing illusion, quite mind blowing, okay? There's no strings or wires or any rods or anything. Check out this now. This is the Mind Freak Levitation. Have a look at this.
say. And, okay, if it, it's really hard to see how it works, isn't it? Okay, there's another good illusion as well. And it's kind of freaky too. He gets inside a bin basically in the middle of the street, okay? I think this is in Tokyo, Japan. I'm not quite sure. It looks like Tokyo, Japan on the video. Gets into a bin basically in the middle of the street. Disappears, okay? People right around the bin. And they place on top of a roof of a building basically. Really, really fast, okay? It's really interesting kind of switch illusion. Teleportation illusion. It's really, really good. I have to say, I'm pretty freaked out about myself, okay? It looks pretty good. I don't know where the crowd's in on it. It's good though. Have a look at this. This is the bin teleportation illusion. stuff including using a bit of I think it's a bit of a little ball basically a popcorn ball or something and he sticks it in his in his, uh, in his mouth all right okay this is a trick done by fakirs in India back about 200 years ago it's an Indian trick actually he gets the ball sticks it in his mouth and works up his up his cheek okay inside his mouth up inside his cheek and it goes up to his eyeball and it pops out of his eyeball okay pops out of his eyeball it's really weird okay a bit freaky this is freaky stuff isn't it have a look at this now this is the this is like a little, uh, like a little sort of pee or something, okay? <laughs> Pop in the mouth, out the eyeball. This is a trick to my Indians, okay? I know a couple of hundred years ago, it's been done in India for, for a long, long time. Check out the freaky um, little pee, pee and eye trick. Have a look at this. stuff as well including rather odd stuff i'll do some couple of big illusions in a minute as well he actually does also uh, do stuff with the coin this weird kind of creepy stuff this is kind of the stuff that david blaine was doing about 20 years ago as well this is where magic left the stage and went kind of freaky didn't it on the street okay this is a freaky one it does he gets a coin okay and he pops it into his hand into his arm okay into his arm and it works up in, under the skin and his arm okay <laughs> it's up the skin under his arm up to his neck into his mouth it pops out of his mouth okay this is another weird trick isn't it okay this kind of freaky stuff's been done a lot in the last 20 years by some magicians particularly david blaine as well okay have a look at this now this is <laughs> coin in the skin out of the mouth okay another freaky a kind of fairly indian trick have a look at this as well
this is tricks. I wouldn't really do them myself, these tricks. These kind of tricks, that kind of, uh, these kind of like freaky kind of magic, aren't they, kind of stuff as well. He also does a bit of spoon bending as well, fork bending as well. He goes into a shop in Japan, I think, and bends some fork as well. Typically, you're again a fork bending as well. He does that too, okay? That's a pretty typical illusion, proving that you can do, magicians can do, can do spoon bending like people at Uruguay are do as well. So people, not only Uruguay as a spoon and fork bender, so is Chris Angel as well. But Chris Angel is just a magician, not getting his socket powers at all. He's just a magician. I think Chris Angel went out quite a lot to say, you know, a lot of these people, these uh, mentalists, mind readers and soothsayers and so on, are really magicians, okay? He wanted to kind of prove that, like Houdini had done years and years ago when he went out to this to just debunk a lot of kind of these spiritualists, you know what I mean? And say they're just magicians, using magicians kind of tactics, you know? Interesting stuff anyway. Now we'll, we'll pop inside into the arena now, after some outside bits and pieces, and we'll have a look at some other magic. It managed to capture on film some other bits of magic uh, from the show, but it's not quite lucky, I think it's not copyrighted. This is another lovely levitation of, of, of an apple. It does come an Adam and Eve thing, a beautifully staged Adam and Eve thing. I think this is done with Sir Zelay. This is beautiful, he gets an apple, and he floats it around the place. A bit like the Doug Henning floating ball. Remember Doug Henning floating ball? Check out Doug Henning's floating balls on my Doug Henning video. But on this, he does a lovely Doug Henning star floating apple, okay? Floats around the stage, okay? Beautiful stage, okay? Through his hands, okay? And then, of course, I think he bites the apple and something happens to him, okay? And he falls forward and, and turns into old man like that. It's really weird, okay? Costume change. I can't even see how it works, okay? It's really weird. Have a look at this floating apple and suddenly trans transformation into an old man. Have a look at this, it's really weird. Okay, and he waves the, gets the brother out, now he's an old man, and waves the brother at the tree, and an apple appears, a bit like Adam and Eve. He's got a lovely kind of innocent kind of goblin character with him. And the goblin kind of eats the apple, a bit like Adam and Eve, you know, in the, the biblical story. And he waves the brother over the little goblin, his goblin friend, and she turns into a little kind of red kind of devil kind of creature, kind of weird. And then after that, <laughs> it's kind of freaky, isn't it? Have a look at this anyway.
then goes, um, he then transforms back into Chris Angel, and we then we, we then see a beautiful version of Interlude, the illusion that was done by Stephen Roy, uh, by Copperfield, by I think Pendragons as well, which a uh, very popular illusion back in the uh, 20 years ago, I say, it's still really good. There's a really weird version, it's a kind of twisted version of a kind of like alien version of Interlude. That's where the body passes through the body, okay? They get uh, Chris Angel strapped into a great big device, basically, his whole body's in there, it looks like he's in a kind of weird kind of surreal device and then there's of course a number of weird kind of alien kind of creatures <laughs> come through his body okay it's really really weird okay it's very based on um you know the film alien you know alien aliens you've seen those films haven't you alien aliens those kind of stuff prometheus those kind of alien movies haven't you and uh, it's like that kind of stuff you know this weird freaky thing alien creeps right through his body okay it's really weird okay and then i feel all that, all that they just disappear okay it's really weird attack. i think the disappearance looks a bit weird to me it's a bit, that could be a camera trick isn't it but the interlude's really really great i love that version of it it's great taking another old illusion like body through body interlude and turning it into another spectacular kind of variation of, the, of, of that wonderful illusion, body through body. It's really great. Remember Steve from Roy's video? Steve from Roy also had a leopard jumping through Roy's body. Remember that? If you see the Steve from Roy video I made a, a couple of months ago or so, check that Steve from Roy video as well. But it's a fabulous illusion, interlude, body through body. Have a look at this, it's really good. <laughs>
Well, that's really good. I hope you enjoyed that promotion. There's quite a lot of stuff there of Chris Angel. He's a great magician. Love his style. Love his look. You know, he looks really great. Of course, after having years and years of common magicians and, of course, uh, kind of romantic magicians, it's good to see um, magic going into the area of straight magic, uh, kind of st also theatre magic, but kind of freaky kind of magic as well. So Chris Angel does many, many big tricks. I think he manages members of the audience. Okay, he also does stuff. Many, many tricks, basically. I think he walked. Uh, between two buildings, I think, levitate between the two buildings, walk to water, many, many illusions. He's done many, many kind of freaky style magic tricks as well. I think he's even been run over by a bulldozer, I think, apparently, and survived it. This is just an illusion, of course, not for you to try home, okay? But he does a lot of these freaky stuff, okay? He's a freakster, isn't he? But he's also a brilliant guy, brilliant magician, love the magic, okay? And do check out, if you can, see the show in Las Vegas, okay? I think it's a Planet Hollywood, MGM Grand, anyway, one of the theatres there. It's just reopen, I believe. So check out Chris Angel. I should go myself if I get a chance to see Chris Angel. Please invite me Chris, I want to go to see Chris Angel's show in uh, Las Vegas, okay? Hope you enjoyed the very much you need, please check out uh, other videos, I've made 150 videos of Magic and Chat Illusion, please check them out as well, please do okay, uh, please subscribe, please tell as well, please do okay, I've made many biographies by the way of other magicians and uh, as I say, along Chris Angel, Copperfield, Paul Daniels, Wayne Dobson, okay, many, many magicians as well, and also I made some secrets and magic as well myself, okay, so I brought magic to you, please subscribe so we can bring more magic to you, please do, okay, help me out with the channel, please do subscribe, see you again very soon, please like as well, I do need a few likes, so please like, <laughs> see you again very soon, okay, once you subscribe for some more magic and chat and illusions, see you later, and bye for now.